Uh, we're here today at Cards Media Market. Yep. Uh, based on Saturday. How's your training, man? It's been fantastic. He's had the longest training camp uh, uh, of his career so far. It's, it's been it's just short of six weeks in February. It's just the foundation we've done here with Jeff Story and uh, down in the gym with Cooper and uh, Jim and, and uh, the whole family. And then he's uh, inspired with the likes of Stephen Norman, Terry Flanagan, uh, Gary Buckman, Mitch Buckman, uh, Richard Carney, um, Lewis Petit. Um, We've done, we sparred with everybody, we sparred with welterweights and black and uh, so we've done an extensive sparring for this, uh, this 162 rounds actually. So it's a long sparring session, long hard count, but he needs to be in the best shape of his life. This, to my mind, is a more difficult fight, a uh, more difficult fight to win than against Martinez. Uh, Martinez is um, strong and powerful, it's harder probably than uh, the monitor, but is to, to my mind, you know, a one trick pony. Whereas this guy's got a number of uh, you know uh, parts to his style. He can fight, he can box, and he will be a much more difficult opponent to beat. But I'm absolutely convinced that he will win and win style. And he's looking magnificent. Yeah, uh, was there much of a difference to your training? Obviously, Kiko Martinez probably sure was probably just going to disappoint the second, third came down maybe. Uh, was there much to have the other sparring match? Like yeah, the, yeah, the, I mean, Shane is a wonderful trainer, he's a brilliant tactician, and uh, so we changed the sparring. We, we fully enough the weekend, but we found out uh, we caught went home, and then we sparred with Stephen, uh, Stephen Ormond a few times, which was great, it's so competitive down past the college gym. And uh, then uh, we decided from now on it's going to be South Bowls, so um, we worked with uh, Richie Comey for a week, who's very strong, big strong light yet, um, uh, and he's orthodox. So we worked with, uh, with uh, Mitch Buckland, we worked with um, Terry Flanagan, we, and we worked with, uh, I'm trying to think of all the names, there were many other South Bowls, a couple of Ireland guys, well to it, so the ones that came to work as well. So it's, it's been it's been great, and, and we know we've studied uh, Marto carefully, and, and um, Shane will set about the tactical plan, um, and uh, we'll work very carefully on that. And you know, he's, he's the wrong way around, he's taller, he's five foot seven, maybe five, seven and a half, and uh, keeps the weight <coughs> low sometimes, but that also puts it up in check position as well. So he's he's much more complicated to fight than, 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 um, than Martinez, but I think for the call, the better for him. Do you think he's a leave for Martinez right now? I don't know, Paddy, to, to be honest, I don't, I don't know what's happening. Um, Martinez has mucked us around something terrible, and that is mucked in UCK. And he's, um, <laughs> he's messed us around, and, and uh, you know, I, don't, I don't know, would, would the promoter have any confidence that he would go through with the fight the third time? We'd love to think that he would, because we wouldn't mind doubling back and fighting for him. We wouldn't mind fighting the winner of Scott Quigg and, and Randy Monroe. But of course, that's the name cards will make before more than anybody else. Yeah, Scott Quigg. Yeah. It's, it must be difficult for Cardi to know. It's just the impact that he's going to have on his own. I agree with you. I think he has leapfrogged them both, um, and um, you know this is you know he, you look at people's track and you look at Molitor and what he's done, and uh, you look at Martinez and what he's done, and you look at Quinn and what they've done. They have their own great fighters. Don't get me wrong, but the bottom line is that the guy that's achieved most is Molitor, and so therefore he's a much more strong test. And, um, we think he's by far the most difficult of those opponents. But those are two fights that we would love to have. The winner of Quigg and Monroe, and we'd love to fight Martinez. Will they ever fight us? It's frustrating. Well, Warren, thanks a lot for taking the time to speak to us today. I wish you all the best for Saturday. Thanks, Thank you. Cheers.